Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today we're using the Burning Serpent Oracle by Robert M. Place and we have three options as always. Uh, we have option one, option two and option three. Let's take a look, a closer look at those options. So it's option one. It's here. Option two, that's here also. And option three. So you have a better look at it. And hopefully that helps to make up your mind. So once again, that's option one, option two, and option three. So for those of you who've chosen the option number one here, we are asking, what is your weekly oracle card guidance? And what have you come here to hear? What is the actual message that you've come here to hear uh, at this time? So we have the card, the stalk, and it's the number 17. The message that I'm getting here for you is to bide your time, to take your time, and you will know when things are right. You will know when it's time to take action. It's also telling me, and not to put the cart before the horse, to be able to go with the flow, to know when it's right to do something, not to be, able, not to rush something, not to, not to try to force something. The message here is that there's something at hand, there's something that's more immediate that needs attention, and not to look too far into the future or try to force the hand of something that needs to take place at another time in the future. So it there's a sense here that you can have what it is that you desire, and that you can be successful, and you can be healthy, and you can be okay and well and feel good about things but that you need to be able to discern what is uh, an immediate issue that needs to be resolved or to be handled or where it is that you could be in danger uh, in, in an immediate sense rather than think and take care of dangers in the future right now is not the time to plan for the future way in way ahead in the future but rather to see what is it that needs attention at this moment because there's an it feels to me like they could be impending matters that need to be resolved, but you're not looking at that right now and you're not actually taking care to to make sure that all of these things are, are taken care of, like all your ducks are in a row. It's also showing me that you're in a fertile time in your life and that you can actually go ahead and um, create things and be productive. I'm also seeing here that the stork here, she, it's almost like she's ready to, um, to create things, to make things, to produce things. And it's as if all that she touches um, is successful because she's got a healthy hand or she's got uh, green fingers. So she's planting something that's going to flourish. If she wants to have a baby, it's going to be a, a fine, healthy baby. If she wants to fly, her journey is going to be a, a successful journey and so this there's this feeling of just being one with oneself embodying the strength that you have and really taking charge of yourself in terms of that strength and really uh, putting life before everything else so it's almost asking you to take a moment um, to understand what is what is your priority where is it that you need to be more life-giving where is it that um life and the priorities of life come to the fore and need to have your attention and need to take that focus rather than other priorities or other mundane um, responsibilities or um, matters that need your attention so it's almost saying well are you putting life before everything else or is there another priority 
is, uh, you know, taking care of your bills or, um, you know, taking care of deadlines um, is or your responsibility is towards your family, your friends, or your, you know, is all of that more important than life? And asking you to just take a step back and ask yourself, where is it that I'm prioritizing life? And how is it that I can move ahead and be okay with myself while prioritizing life? So just bringing life back into focus in order to be able to move ahead. And so it's asking you to do that. It's also, there's a message here that, you know, whatever you do is going to, is going to be successful. Whichever path that you take will be okay. So don't, um, you know, don't be too hard on yourself. Don't um, be too worried about whether you've taken the right path or not. It's just a matter of um, taking a path. It's just a matter of getting moving or making um, headway. Just a matter of moving in whichever direction. It doesn't matter. But, to make something happen right now because right now the time is ripe to make something happen all right so that's my message for you for this week i can't see anything else right now i don't feel that there's anything else right now i think it's um maybe to add to this there needs to be a focus on on what it is that you desire like once you made up your mind just focus on that and and go ahead with that and don't let anything else distract you so i think that is um the last thing that I see here that you need to actually uh, take into account uh, as you go along in this week. So uh, to summarize, be limber, be uh, flexible, be willing to change, be willing to move, take action. And do s once you've done so, once you've actually made your mind up to take action, then be focused on, on that and take care of immediate matters as opposed to focusing too far into the future, just um, day to day more immediate concerns are at hand and the priority is to focus on that all right so i'm wishing you a great week as you go along many blessings to you please take care be healthy and be well so for those of you who've chosen this option here this is your number two option we are asking what is it that you've come here to hear what is the message that you need to know right now what is it that you've been brought here to hear that you need to hear right now in order to move forward. Okay, so we have the card, the man, and it's the number 28. And the way in which I see this card, or the way in which I'd like to read this card, is to say that there's a matter of being um, okay, being distinguished, being elegant, being one with yourself, being satisfied with yourself and your presentation and the way in which you are seen in the world and the way in which you come across to others in the world. But there's also a sense of taking responsibility for what is going on inside of yourself and what is um, the processes that are taking place within you that need attention. There's a feeling here that um, all is okay on the outside and all is fine on the outside. But there's um, a sense that there could be emptiness, there could be a void that needs to be filled or some questions that are unanswered that need to be answered uh, shortly or need to be answered more urgently. Bigger questions, questions about direction, about life, about purpose. And, and, and that is one of the messages that are coming forth right now. Sorry if I've shaken the camera a couple of times. I have just um, have the camera on the desk and I'm also leaning on the desk. So there's another matter here about this, this man or this energy of the man uh, being fulfilled and being well and being all together and also have, being at a stage of, of life that where you are able to create and have fun and incorporate adventure into all that you create and it's actually something that it gives you wings you know you can fly you feel well you feel like you could do anything you've got a, a beat in your stride and uh, on your step and you, you just feel more in control of things but then still I'm feeling that that is the facade or that's what's outside of you. And as you go ahead, there still are questions to be asked and still are questions um, to be answered as well. And those questions have more to do with your spirituality and more to do with your connection to the divine and what your your perception is of the divine and how you understand yourself in um, 
in relation to the divine so i feel like those are questions that are unanswered but at the same time there's also the sense here that everything is okay and that you know it's very it's very hunky dory it's very um much uh something that's on the surface that's good to go that's well that's sorted that's ready to take off and then also you know the feeling that um that you've arrived that there's you know you've arrived at your destination and that you've accomplished something and um it's almost like um you've accomplished something and that you know you've you've created something for yourself and now there's this question of um what what does it mean for me in the greater context of things so there's that energy here and um there's also a sense that you know you might have begun something and even though you haven't finished it yet there's a sense of accomplishment around what you that that you've begun something and there is um this card is also showing me that as you go ahead this energy is going to stay with you and it's going to be you're going to be able to create that which is good for you that which is well for you you're going to be in good standing with your community with your neighbors with your boss or your your employers or the institution that you align yourself with and then there's also a sense of feeling pride for oneself and feeling good uh, for what you're doing and i think at the same time there's these gnawing issues which are underneath all of that and which you dare not show uh to the outside world so i think that this card is talking about really enjoying the status that you have right now and really enjoying uh, where you're going to with this and and really pushing forth and um, moving ahead with a kind of stride that takes you where you need to go to without any hesitation and without any doubt and knowing that it's going to work out well and then there's also a sense of not neglecting the bigger questions when they come your way not neglecting what it is that you're truly asking because i'm also getting the sense here that you might be on a particular path um of life and you might be you know going ahead and everything is working out fine but there's a sense of you know uh, some kind of emptiness or a void or some kind of sense of not really knowing where the connection is and then looking in that direction looking towards the connection and wondering how is it going to work out or what is it meant to be or how is it that i can actually um, attain that level of um of well-being or um kind of um where i can graduate from a particular level of being where i can also feel well in myself and contained and put together and um grounded and and connected and and how do i create that connection if i don't feel that connection right now so it's like these questions of how do i create a uh, connection and um because there's a sense that the divine is not in you but the divine is outside of you and that you you feel um you don't feel the connection to oneself or to the divine in in oneself so if you are um dealing with those kind of questions in this upcoming week or in the next couple of weeks i would say the next 2 to 3 weeks as well then i think um you know you don't need to push too hard to feel that connection or to find that that balance in you in terms of that i think what you need to do is just kind of observe what you're feeling and observe how you how you got to this point and and what what you actually you know what you actually want to get from this like you know perhaps have conversations with yourself about your relationship to the divine and how you feel about your faith or what it means you know what does the divine mean to you what does consciousness mean to you what does what does god mean to you and those kind of questions might actually bring relief to you if you are indeed feeling this void at certain moments in the next couple of weeks all right so i think that's my message for you here i think go along with whatever you're doing and um it's almost like there's this midas touch that you have and there's a, a chance that you can actually create great things as you go along and then of course if those if those questions come up um try to address that that void simply by observing the way in which you respond to it as well as asking yourself um about your own uh relationship to the divine all right well i hope that message helps you do let me know if it does and i'm wishing you a wonderful week as you go ahead please stay safe stay well and be blessed for those of you who have chosen the option number 3 this week we are asking what is the message that we've come here to hear what is our divine guidance at this time 
And what is it that we need to know as we go along? What is our guidance for this week? So for you, we have the red clover and it's number two. And I feel here that there's a sense of uh, a plateau. You know, you've reached a plateau and you've actually come through something and there's reason to uh, feel happy about something. There's reason to feel like you might have gone through something that has benefited you ultimately. And you might not understand that at this moment. It might be, you might be feeling a bit bruised or about sore or a little bit um, like, you know, it's been a rough ride or something like this. And there are still annoyances or irritations, but also um, there's a sense that you could be looking at this energy and feeling, oh, well, you know, I'm really happy and I've got more than what I've bargained for. And look, you know, I have all these things that are helping me and assisting me, all these people that I hear for me. And um, I can go ahead with quite a lot of um, uh, trust and um, knowledge that I'm going to be okay and that I have. I form part of a, uh, I'm an integral part of a community and that it's it's okay to be part of this. There's also the sense here that, um, you know, that you might have bargained for something, but you've gotten much more than that. And I think that you might not feel that way, but there's, it's almost, this card is saying to me, it's almost nudging me to, to say, well, you know, take a look at it, take a look at that and see how that makes you feel. What if you look at it as in, I've got my half, my glass half full and that I've got more than I've bargained for than rather, rather than, hey, what a, a, a difficult time this has been or how hard has this been? And, and to be able to go forth with that and just to be able to move ahead and um, create um, harmony, you know, in, in your existence and to recognize that you are where you need to be right now, regardless of what you how you may appear or how different you may appear to others in your in your community or others around you because even though you may appear different even though you may be um um you know you might be described differently from them you are in fact a part of them in a way that you're destined to be a part of them or that you're meant to be there you're meant to make that contribution you're meant to be that way and there's almost the sense that, you know, we need to accept that. We need to um, just be one with oneself at this time in order to be able to um, to go ahead. I also feel like, just as in the other cards, there's almost a sense of there being luck here, that things are good, that things are looking up, that things are about to get better than they have been. And And how is it that we move ahead now? How is it that we move forth in a way that you can actually feel like you're making progress, that you actually, you know, can quantify that progress that you're making as opposed to feel like you've been struggling. So I feel like, you know, for those of you who've chosen this option, it might be that you've been through a bit of a rough patch and that you've come out the other end and you're successful and you're okay. But it's almost like you the way in which you go forward now, there's the need to quantify the progress that you're making in order to uh, set certain deadlines for yourself and set a certain goals for yourself, little goals, ones that are easily achievable, one that, or ones that don't take a lot of time to achieve in order to be able to track your progress and to be able to feel that you're making progress and to be able to really um, affirm the progress that you're making. There's also a sense here for you, uh, this is quite different from the other cards, you know, but there's also a sense here that there might be um, an attraction or some kind of partnership uh, looming ahead. And it, do, it doesn't look at all like the way you expect it to look. Um, and the uh, the message here is that, you know, if something like this is coming your way, uh, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Don't, don't um, deny an experience that can be had. Go with flow and see where it takes you and see where there's room for flexibility, for compromise, for... Um, just spontaneity in yourself and and see what comes from that and um, you can actually uh, give yourself the opportunity to enjoy or to have a bit of fun or to simply just uh, go with the flow 
All right. So I think here that if there is that, then um, move ahead with it. And um, th well, that's the advice anyway, go with it. And you're going to find that you might have some kind of symbiotic relationship. Um, and, you know, it's um, it's not like you're just giving or you're just taking, but there's an equal uh, balanced uh, give and take and that uh, all is well with the world. So that's the message that's come up for you. And it's very different from the other messages, I have to say. Um, this week's um, messages are quite different. And I, I would say that, um, you know, these cards, they all, they really give me a sense, um, a different sense, a different energy. Whenever I work with um, Robert M. Place's cards, they they always have a different, a very different vibe to them. And um, it's quite interesting working with them. I'm not sure if I actually enjoy working with them. But I would say that the energy is always quite different and quite strange even. And um, yeah, it's not the easiest energy to navigate. Not that it's difficult to read the, these cards, uh, or not that I feel that the um, the the energy is 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 preventing me somehow from reading these cards. It's not like that at all. But it's almost like when these cards come up to be read, there's always a bit of a strange energy. There's almost there's always a transitional energy. There's always a sense of things about to change, whether it's be, it be seasons or whether it be the times of, that are about to change or whether it, it means that you're embarking upon something new. And I think that this is a, a really interesting energy um, at this moment. And this, these cards that I've picked for you today uh, really have that as well, just very different energy. All right, so um, I hope that these messages have resonated with you and I hope that it it has helped you I wish you a really good week as you go along may you be blessed and may you feel healthy and well and safe and blessings abound from Kismet Rising